What I communicate to clients is, if you're gonna talk it, you should walk it. And so I'll talk to them about my pension income and how that brings me peace of mind. In this episode of Advisor Revelations, here are the strategies that one advisor uses to help retirees mitigate risk in portfolios in today's volatile market and how leaving the broker-dealer model has benefited his firm and clients. Welcome to the Advisor Revelations podcast. I'm Jonathan Barth, Regional Vice President of Member Success at DPL. And joining me today is Curtis Perry, founder and CEO of Unique Wealth. Well, hello. Thanks for having me. Of course. It's great to have you on. Looking forward to our conversation here today. Before we begin, I want to encourage everyone to connect with the DPL team if you have any questions about the strategies or solutions that we may bring up today during our conversation. You can visit us directly at our website at dplfp.com. That's DPL, F as in Frank, P as in Peter, dot com. You can find us on the Meet the Team page to make an appointment. So let's get into it. Curtis, we've been working together for a little bit over a year now. Could you tell the listeners a little bit about yourself and your firm's journey to independence? Sure, love to. I've been married for 22 years. Hope I got that right. Uh, The love of my life, high school sweetheart. We have three awesome children. Been serving clients for 22 years also. We got married and I started the business the same year in calendar year 2000. Today, we've got 10 team members, six as certified financial planners, depending on market conditions, somewhere around $500 million of total assets. We went into independence about a year and a half ago and were introduced to you all right away at that point in time and just absolutely were attracted to commission-free products as an alternative solutions for clients at that point. That's great. Thanks for the background there. And if it's not 22 years, I'm sure your wife will make sure to let you know. (laughs) Before we get into the products and everything here, could you give a little bit of background on your journey to independence? You know, what was the thought process like internally with the team? We work with so many independent advisors here, and there's a huge move within the industry to find the independence. Could you share a little bit about what were those key motivators for you and your team? Yeah, and you hear it all the time. We love everything about going independent. If we have any regret, and I don't live with regret, but if we had any, it would be the fact that we didn't do it sooner. The main reasons why we made the change as fiduciaries, as board certified financial planners, we loved our old ecosystem. It was a great firm. We still have lots of friends there. We believe in a lot of what they believe in, but corporately, we were just kind of at odds with them. And so we gave them some runway and said, hey, We feel that you're out of conflict with what we believe in as fiduciaries and certified financial planners, either rectify this or we've got to go independent. And they were a big corporate entity and they said, well, then you got to do what you do. And so we took that leap of faith and uh, there's been no looking back whatsoever. So if you're considering it, give me a call. Uh, I'll walk you through it. I'll pray with and for you. But it's absolutely been one of the best decisions we've made. That's awesome. And it's a big leap. We work with some firms that, you know, say crossing the street almost. It's like, once you make that decision, just cross the street fully, you'll be so much happier on the other side. So that's great. With you now being able to implement no load products and solutions and being an independent RIA firm, let's talk a little bit about the annuities. What types of annuities have you seen be most beneficial in your practice so far? So here in the independent space, we're still providing plain vanilla variable annuities. We wrote a lot of those over our 22-year career in our old ecosystem. And so as our clients came on the journey with us, our first layer of the assets that we transferred over were just brokerage account. We brought them over, advisory accounts, we brought them over. And then when we actually had a breather and the client saw that it was an equal, if not greater ecosystem over here, we've got better financial planning for them. We've got better reporting for them. And so then they naturally communicated and we obviously saw, hey, we still have some lingering resources over there. So are you comfortable with us bringing your annuities over? One of the thoughts that they would have was, well, does that mean I have to go through that commission experience again and either pay something up front or am I stuck with something for another you know, eight year time frame with a contingent deferred sales charge? And we said, refreshingly, We've got a partner, DPL, that now allows us to bring over those annuities. 
not trigger any tax implications, not trigger any new cost implications. And that's where the 1035s came over. So right now, a lot of what we have in our new ecosystem that you all have been a great resource for us are just plain vanilla variable annuities. Well, that's great. And I know that it's obviously extremely beneficial to be able to bring over all of a client and help them with their entire financial planning picture and their entire portfolio, rather than having some of those things still straggling behind. That's great to hear. Thank you for sharing that. So you mentioned there's a few clear benefits of using the types of annuities that are commission-free solutions, but also having multiple options to consider, right? That not only provide lower costs, but also can provide additional benefits for the client, whether it's you know tax deferral, being able to turn on lifetime income or having the flexibility to turn on that lifetime income later on. I'd like to get a little bit more in depth about that 1035 exchange process and some of the benefits we looked at from a carrier agnostic platform, right? Go through the process of how did we dwindle down to getting to one specific carrier and, and some of the benefits that you provided or that you felt like you had by coming to a fiduciary advisory platform. So what would you say are the biggest candidates for annuity solutions and how have your clients benefited from an advisory platform like this? Yeah, I think there's a couple of questions there that I want to answer. First and foremost, especially in today's environment, right now, the market's been miserable, for lack of better terms, year to day, and a lot of volatility, which causes anxiety and fear and restless nights for clients. And so I kind of, to the best of my ability, keep it simple, silly. It's interesting, human nature, that when you say, hey, tell me what you think about a pension, many people will respond by saying, oh, that's that thing that my dad had. And, you know, (laughs) he or she, my mom worked at Ford for 30 years and they just get that check month in, month out, uh, rain or shine. Darn it. I wish I had something like that available to me. And so behavioral science, if we can get them to then see the light, you can create your own pension. That's what an annuity can do for you. And so who are those that are the best candidates for annuities? Those that want a guaranteed income component to their overall wealth plan. And so, you know, one of my heroes in the business, which you all have done a lot of work with, and he just came out with his new book, which I'm still trying to get through. But Dr. Wade Fowl is just absolutely brilliant. I'm a huge fan of his. He's got financial planning and retirement income planning down pat. What I learned from him in my old ecosystem was to attempt to align your fixed expense needs with guaranteed income streams, whether that be social security, rental incomes, annuities, pensions, things of that sort. And then your discretionary income needs, that's where we'll use the portfolio and we'll deal with some volatility in the market there. So when I have that conversation with clients and we talk about how do you feel about aligning your fixed expenses with guaranteed income streams, it makes sense for them. And then where do we come up with guaranteed income streams? Annuities are perfect solutions for those purposes. That's great. Thank you for sharing that. And you're hitting the nail on the head there. Shameless plug here for DPL. We work a bunch with Wade Fowl. He's had a big influence on our company and our business. And it's good to hear our member firms are, you know, stepping along with us in that journey to, you know, providing lifetime income for clients. That's good. Let's talk a little bit about the clients, right? How did they feel about using annuities within their financial plans? What was that conversation like with clients and how different was it? to be able to tell them, hey, this is advisory, commission-free. We're going to you know, manage it just like the rest of the portfolio. I would say clients trust their advisor. And if you believe in a product or solution, then they're going to follow along with you. And as a result of that, how it actually allows me to be more equity-oriented towards other components of my portfolio, one of the greatest fears retirees have is the fear of running out of money, what's called longevity risk. And it's not bonds, it's not stocks, it's not structured notes, it's not CDs. Those are not solutions that can combat longevity risk. It's annuities and the mortality credits we can get from annuities that will make sure you can never, ever, ever run out of these income streams from annuities if you do it properly. So first and foremost, I'll talk with them a little bit about how my pension income gives me that peace of mind. And then I have permission to say so. 
but my parents are my clients. <laughs> and it's interesting how generically men typically are more oriented towards the market and equities. They like the risk reward relationship of that generically, not all the cases, but women are typically migrate more towards safety and security. And that's where for my mom, knowing that she has this pension income through the annuity that we provided for her, I've never probably received warmer hugs from my mom. <laughs> you know, she is my biggest fan. She's always been my biggest fan, but she's even more so my biggest fan because she knows that I am going to take care of her. This annuity is going to take care of her for the rest of her life, regardless of how long her soulmate lives. When I can share that type of story with our clients, well, Curtis, if it's good enough for you and if it's good enough for your parents, and I know that you're doing this in my best interest as my fiduciary, why wouldn't I add an annuity as part of my overall financial plan? That's awesome. That's such a great story. And actually, I know there are some DPL members here who their parents have annuities as well, right? And so it's so funny that talking about walking the walk and talking the talk, it's good to see that on both sides here. But you really hit on something with, it's not just that the math makes sense for clients, right? It's not just that providing the lifetime income, you know, allows you to be more aggressive in equities or allows you to get through a market situation like what we're experiencing this year. It's psychologically, right? It's being able to know that I've, you know, have this money coming in month after month, and that gives some peace of mind here. So that's good to hear. Let's talk a little bit about some of the old ways that annuities have been in place and then some of the new ways through DPL. Most of the RIAs we speak with and work with on a daily basis typically say that one of the biggest challenges as a fiduciary is the lack of product education and some of the complexity that can come with annuities. And I'm saying that in air quotes for a reason. But obviously at DPL, we have a ton of resources that are available for you, right? To educate our members, to provide some really efficient and scalable tools to make your life a lot easier, right? How has DPL supported you and the Unique Wealth team when it comes to learning about these different annuities and actually getting up to speed with the solutions that are available? Yeah, so like our industry as a whole, things change on a daily basis and there's new product offerings to those advisors that are out there in a restrictive environment, you're with one of the big firms and there's a lot of governance and therefore they tell you this is what you can sell and this is what you cannot sell. When you come to independence, as our senior portfolio manager puts it, it is the wild, wild west. <laughs> you can, in essence, do whatever you want. You can provide anything and everything on behalf of your clients. But if you're truly serving their best interests as their fiduciary, You've got to know these things inside and out. You're liable to know that. And then most importantly, you want to treat others the way that you want to get treated there. So to have a partner that has vetted these products, to have a partner, DPL in this case, that can effectively and efficiently and succinctly give you the pros and cons, give you the cost structures, give you the ins and outs of these different solutions and take all of this noise and communicate it effectively so that we can then go advocate on behalf of our clients. It's absolutely priceless. I'll add this. We live in a world where we're very challenged with just poor customer service, if I can call it as it is these days. We're on hold all the time. We're working with a new generation of people serving at 800 you know, lines, and they just don't always know what they're talking about. I will say it's just the opposite at DPL. As soon as you call over there or you send an email, you're getting an immediate response or somebody live is picking up, you know the relationship, they'll answer your questions humbly. If they don't know the answer right away, they're going to take the time, research it, get back to you on it. It is a world-class experience and I feel very, very comfortable. My team's being taken care of and if my team can be taken care of, then our clients inevitably are also taken care of in that regard. Well, thank you for those kind words. Glad we've been able to make a huge impact. We have a great operations and service team over here. So kudos to them. 
In one thing that you mentioned, and uh, I know that we've worked with a few other of the team members on, is the proposal that's generated from the annuity comparison tool. I know we did that a bunch for some of those existing annuities that clients had in, in the old ecosystem, and we were able to provide a really great side-by-side that I know you and the team were able to share directly with clients and say, hey, here's the difference between the two. Here's what we're able to provide in the advisory space now that we have our independence and we're in the Wild West. <laughs> and we found some good options here. That's great. So when you were learning about the DPL solutions, was there anything that really stuck out to you, particular product set or suite or even just features or differences from what you had previously experienced that's now here in the advisory space for you? At the end of the day, you know, what are clients looking for? And a lot of times we'll hear performance, Mm -hmm. features, expenses. And so going back to that side-by-side comparison that you had communicated, we take our fiduciary responsibility very serious or seriously. And so part of how we interpret that is transparency and disclosure. And so when we can say Mr. and Mrs. Client on the left side is what it looked like in the prior ecosystem, and this is still a good solution for you. We provided Mm -hmm. it for you from where you were in our old world. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like in the new ecosystem. And not in all cases, but in most cases, it's like kind costs, if not less expensive, like kind features, if not better features, like kind quality of carrier, if not better quality of carrier, more optionality as far as the fund selection. And so a lot of times when we listen then and we ask the client, you know, what are you seeing? How are you feeling about this? Curtis, it seems to me that we're as well off, if not better off in this new ecosystem. Great. That's exactly what we wanted you to transparently see. Then for us, oh, by the way, we're going to service your old stuff or we're going to provide service on the new stuff, but it's refreshing to know we're actually going to get paid to service and oversee and proactively communicate to you the new stuff in our new independent ecosystem with these commission-free or advisory products. Most importantly, non-negotiable, it's in the client's best interest, but also if we can be compensated on it, that's a win-win. And our clients want us to be compensated on it fairly So that's what we found. These comparisons are just, it's a game changer. It's been unbelievably refreshing and our clients really appreciate it. Good. That's great. That's what it's there for. Make your life easier. You know, having a good conversation with the client. Was there any client in specific that had a a unique, you know, reaction to it? Maybe they jumped up with joy or toasted to it. I don't know. Was there anything like that there? I would say what I hear more commonly than not is the surprise that the clients have where they have not received any communication from the old firm, we've kept relationships with them, but this old firm had not reached out to them at all, Mm -hmm. even as they're going through the transition of bringing the assets over to us, the old firm's not reaching out to them. And so a lot of times it's validation for the client realizing they're a big entity over there, We're just a number to them. We're just an account to them. We want to be with Unique Wealth. We want to be with the advisors and the planners and the team that actually care about us and want to work with us. So that's been the commonality we've experienced through some of this transition. Well, that's great. And obviously, putting the client first is going to make the largest impact to them and and to us. So that's great. You know, what would you say, as we're getting close to the end here, what would you say has been your biggest aha moment? after partnering with DPL? Anything in particular that sticks out over the last, you know, 12 to 18 months that we've been working together? So maybe it's a little bit of serendipity. I had two of our team members just down in South Florida for a cryptocurrency or a digital asset conference last few days. And so when I downloaded with them, Rick Edelman, who's one of the godfathers of our industry, what he was communicating was we're in a environment where we're going to have some serious concerns where planners, actuaries, CPAs have underestimated human lifespan. 
And where commonly we're, you know, building into Money Guide Pro or eMoney lifespan out to 90, 95 years of age, the human body and kind of where we're going with this is we may be living 120 years of age, as scary as that is. <laughs> and so it just validated the mortality credits we're getting from annuities, the fact that these are guaranteed contracts that you can't outlive regardless of how long you live. And then I would say that knowledge, what Rick Edelman just reiterated, along with the fact that this has been a humbling last 12 months or so with current market conditions, the market retracting 25% on equities, 10 to 15% on fixed income year to date. You know, when the market's roaring, the market can do no wrong for people. (laughs) And so it's a tougher conversation to say, hey, let's take some of those dollars and put it into these guaranteed income streams. The humility that came along with this market storm that we're in right now, when things recover, I think this is a perfect time to be having those conversations with clients to say, when we get your portfolios back to where they were pre this current market storm, let's go back to that conversation about maybe earmarking some of these dollars into guaranteed income streams so that you build more of that pension income that will be there for the rest of your life. I think they're more open-minded to those conversations. So I'm excited about the market recovering and having those types of conversations with them at that point in time. That'll be great. That'll be the day I know a lot of us are looking forward to. That's good. As we wrap up here, anything else you want to mention to our listeners about your firm, your independence, your experience with DPL, anything at all, personal life? (laughs) No, just thanks for having me on. Again, Dr. Wade Fow, he's got his new book out there and I should know the title of it, but absolutely pick up a copy of it, read through it. It is high level stuff, but he covers anything and everything that's out there. And then Jonathan, just DPL, we pride ourselves on customer service and communication and attention to detail. And you know, if I was going to beat you up, I'd beat you up, but I'm going to do just the opposite. You all have exceeded expectations You've made the transition for 1035 exchange and the knowledge base when it comes to annuities. It's everything and more than what we've ever wanted. So this has been a great partnership up to this point in time. Well, thank you very much. We look forward to future years of partnership as well. I want to thank Curtis, Unique Wealth for being great DPL members and for joining us here today during our time together on this podcast. If anybody has any questions, wants to learn more about the advisory annuity space, the tools, calculators that DPL provides to RIAs or where to access our tools. Check out our website. It's dplfp.com. You can go over to meet the team, schedule an appointment there. I think you can also access the resources, the tools, product lists, all that good stuff that you would want to know in the advisory annuity space and check out the rest of our podcast feed. But everybody have a great day and thank you so much for joining us here. for listening. To hear more advisor revelations, go to dplfp.com and subscribe on your favorite podcast streaming app.